what's up YouTube, it's your boy Future Player. Today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be recording on how to edit Pokemon videos on Lightwiz Editor version 14 because they recently upgraded from version 12 to 14 and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. But anyways guys, like, comment, Oh shit, oh day, pray them niggas go away. Oh we sell the clowns around, it look like Circus Soleil. This is not the album either, these are just... So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your layout from wherever you have it, inside your folders, anything. Just drag it to your desktop. You want your video to drag it to your desktop. For the benefit of the video, I'm going to be using part 5 or part 6. I don't remember which one of my Pokemon Diamond Display Nuzlocke, which you can find on my channel. But for now, I'm going to be recording on how to edit on version 14. So as you open Lightworks version 14, it will be a new screen, no doubt. It'll be different to the other ones, but it will have all your saved data due to you being signed into the same account. So what you're going to do is you're going to write in... You're going to click on create a new project right here and write whatever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to write practice. Then when you go to frame rate, you are going to choose and click on auto. So it will auto do it. And the way you can do this is one way you can go on local. Scrolling down. But the way I find it easy put drag your thing down and you grab your layout, grab your video. That's the way I like to do it. If you can do the other way, do it the other way. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your arrow on your layout and drag it all the way to here and what's going to happen now is you're going to click this button it's going to replace into a target sequence what's going to happen now is it's going to put you into this screen but we don't want all of this we want to start from scratch so what you're going to do is you're going to click this and boom there we go we start from scratch and you can see the cursor and as you can see my cursor there is a uh, two black arrows opposite each other connected if you hold on to this you can move it right or left i do not do that right now and if you click zoom in zoom out do not touch any of those and what you want to do is just on top of the zoom out you can click um just or you can do near it you can just click right click and you will see a uh, sequence command if you can't see sequence commands just cl open it if sequence commands will be there but if you can't see all these options because it's um, it's closed you're going to open it and you will see tracks make find remove media export you want to click on tracks and you want to click add multiple you want to click video right here should be on video already and click two you want to add two video and you also want to add multiple again and you also want to click on video and go to audio you also want to add two audio after adding two audio what you're going to do now is without crossing this out you are going to double click on your video allowing it to open right next to it you're going to click the same thing you did before allowing it to go to allowing it to put your video down having audio one and audio two there will give you the voice. Without audio in one or audio two will be no voice. So let's click this see quick preview. Oh that was really loud. That was a quick preview. So yeah that's my video. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna ban V1, ban audio one, ban audio two because then the only sets available for video will be V2. That hence why we want the video to go there. We're gonna click this again allowing the video to come back and um and come into here. That's why we need the two videos. So we can put another video here and just drag it along to perfect size. Now what's gonna happen is you will figure out your layout is gone tiny. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna drag it all the way towards you and not too far down there, just towards the end of your video. After doing so, it will put you in like this kind of screen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna ban, unban everything. And when you play, it won't show anything because that's the end of the video. What you're gonna do is when you play, it's gonna show, it won't show your layout. And the reason why is because we have to crop it out so well so that your layout shows. So I am going to skip it to the middle because when I am in the house and for the video, when I start the video, the screen is minimized and I can't see what I'm really doing, which is really bad. Why you shouldn't start in house? So, but anyway, let's just go ahead. So what you're going to do now is you're going to ban A1, A2. Well, you don't need to really ban them. I'm just going to ban them for the sake of it and ban V1. The reason why we are doing this is because now we are going to use DVE and crop it out to put it into the intro, into the layout, I mean, sorry. So you're going to go to VFX and you're going to add, you're going to 3D DVE and as you can see right here is your video. Now you're going to crop and since this is a top screen, we're going to crop everything else out. And if you crop from the left, you can slowly start to see that your, in, your layout's coming out. And when you crop it from here, if you do, the more you crop, the more that will be cut out. Now you want to crop it out to make it perfect size. I'm not going to make it, I'll just make it perfect this one. So yeah, right there. Now you want to do the right as well. And you just want to 
crop it out so it looks perfect now you can do the bottom you're not gonna you're gonna leave the top because you don't need to do the top you're gonna keep it you're gonna do the bottom and you're gonna reach all the way towards up here you're gonna make it so that it's a perfect fit now what you're gonna do is <laughs> you can make a perfect fit but i won't for, for the sake of the video now what you're gonna do is you are gonna use the x-axis to go either left or right you are gonna use the y-axis either to go up and down or you're gonna use the z to zoom in and out so what you're gonna do now is <laughs> you're probably thinking wait if I do what this guy says and do it and it comes out correctly but how am I supposed to save it like these measurements how am I supposed to save these measurements so when I come back I can just open and save those measurements and I say it'll be perfect well that's the thing you can't on this so what you will do is you can go onto notepad and you can write the measurements you want let's say it was 0 0.65 and then it was 0 0.21 and then a four six and then it was like minus one point zero five zero six and yeah you can save it and then you can do it again so right now for the sake of it i did save so i have it right here and when i go to document it would be pokemon top screen screen top um i put it top screen because that's the measurements i did so as you can see at zero point four zero you can just click on it and zero point four zero enter now what you're going to do is you're going to get the second measurement 0 0.27 and what you want to do is you want to find out your measurements first and the way to do this is I'll show you just move this around so that it matches the way you want it it matches everything perfectly it's, nothing's wrong with it because if it's wrong with it then like well you want it perfect for your video don't you then you can fix it whatever you want I've already fixed it beforehand in this video so minus 1.03 so I just need to change the 9 to a 3 and what will happen it will be fixed i've already fixed this for one of my videos but i won't be doing this properly you'd like to fix it for any of your videos i'll be perfectly fine but now we are going to go straight to edit you don't you don't need to save anything it'll already be saved and that's it go to edit and now you will open v1 but after you open v1 do not click anything else or else there will be an error and it will mess up the bottom top screen so you're going to go straight to vfx again and you're going to crop you're going to do the same thing from left to right okay there's some see this is the error i was talking about so what you need to do is you need to go back here and because i forgot what I had to do but this is what you have to do for some reason which is what you have to do for some reason you have to click on dve again but the reason for this is well i don't know why for some reason but <laughs> but the reason for this i don't know why i said that but the reason for this is because it doesn't know what you want it to do and if you just straight away go to remove it it's not going to be moving because you're doing a stupid thing so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add and you're gonna do dve again this will reset everything and you're gonna do the same thing again crop so you're gonna crop from the left and you're gonna also crop from the right okay now if you see this this is what i was talking about the screen from the back has gone so if i go to edit let us just leave it like that see it's messed up so what you want to do is you want to remove and remove that's what happens when you leave it and it messes up it's not it's, it's not what you want really so what you're going to do is you're going to ban v1 again and go to v2 and go to add and go to do the dve and i'm just quickly showing you what would happen if you were to do so so you want to do the left and i will not make this perfect you can make this perfect if you want but i'll just show you what would happen if it was an error and you'd have to start again which would be really annoying and i don't want you to do that so i will show you the correct way now do not do what I just did and do this. So what you're gonna do is from the bottom, you're gonna save it a bit more. Okay, I'm not trying to make this perfect. <laughs> Gotta stop trying to make it perfect. So I've got my measurements right here, 0 0.40. All you have to do is click on this, click um, back, and it'll delete everything, 0 0.40, and enter. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do 0 0.27, 0 0.27, and enter. Then are you going to do minus 1.03? So you're going to click on it, circle minus 1.03, enter, and that's the screen that you have. Now what you're going to do is, as I said before, you are going to click edit, and straight away, what you're going to do is it says straight away you're going to click on V1, and you're not going to do anything else. You're going to go straight to VFX, you're going to go to add, DVE, and then straight to crop. You're going to do the same thing from left all the way and as you can see now 
I fixed the error and the back screen you can see now you can see the back screen is right there for the sake of the video I will not make this um, properly because you'll just you like just want to see it quickly be done so now we're not gonna do the bomb and we can't do the bomb because the black part of the bomb now you do the top and delete the top so what's gonna happen now is your bomb screen will be left there which as you can see is not perfect I told you I'm not gonna do perfect so what you're gonna do now you're gonna move it and after you move it you're gonna move it a bit there and what's gonna happen is the reason why I prefer to enter the digits myself because when I do it like this if I just move a tiny bit it goes to 0 point from 0 0.74 to 0 0.83 straight away automatically and I don't like that I like to do it um, I like to do it perfect so let's say we wanted it up and we wanted a bit to the right let's do 0 0.80 yeah how about that so let's put this down to 0 0.550 how about that okay 0 point uh, 0 0.20 uh no sorry and it went to 20.0 0 0.20 let's see how that looks that looks okay now we're gonna put this a bit down because it's not perfect well i don't want it to be perfect so let me just for the sake of the video 19 that's it leave it there and you can fix the rest yourself you get what i mean and what happens is once it's fixed uh, do you know what? i'll just fix this really quickly 0, 70, 0, 70, oh my god, don't do that mistake guys, 0 0.70 just automatically went to 70 for some reason, so let's just go to 7.5, and you guys can skip this part if you want to, it really doesn't bother me, if you just want to find out to this, I'm just trying to make it perfect for those people who want to see how it looks when it's perfect, so yeah, you're going to zoom out a bit more, 0 0.17, sorry, in a bit more. 0.2 yeah about 2 5 would work this is why I prefer using, using the numbers and the other side so you're gonna put 0 0.67 yeah 6 6 6 8 would be perfect and let's just move this to 8 5 and that's it see as you can see there now you're gonna open notepad again and you can delete this you're gonna open notepad because I had my previous one I'm gonna write this one called 0 0.85. As you can see, it's not perfect, but we, it will do for now. 0 0.68. For my videos, I will be doing it perfect. Then 0 0.25. Then save this. And save as. Save as. Pokemon bottom screen. And that's it. So the next time you when you come, all you have to do is open your file. Oh, yeah. And then we just click on this. And that's it. 0 0.85, 0 0.68, 0 0.25. That's it. Save. Okay, so now when you go back to your video and you play it, this is what it will look like inside your layout. If it's even, uh, oh sorry, I took the audio out because unban the audio again. That's it. So yeah, as you can see, I fixed the layout, and then you can render the rest and put it on your YouTube channel and everything else. But I hope you like this tutorial, guys. I hope you like, comment. But as always, guys, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.